Hello friends, welcome to my channel, a channel for learning simple coding. If you find this video to be helpful, please like, share and subscribe my channel. In this video, we are going to learn fetching information from a REST API server using fetch function in React Native with TypeScript. So it's a very, very useful concept. All application require data from the server and not possible to have all the data in a single application. So in this video, I am going to explain how you can read information or get information from a RESTful API server using fetch method. For that, I have internet. In this internet, I just give here fake REST API because for demo purpose, we have a first website JSON placeholder. So I click here in this server, we have a fake RESTful API server that using fetch here. So for that, we have different different server for get, put, post, delete. So here I have the get server. So I take this server. So remember that first of all, we have to copy this and paste it on the tab. Then here I need to insert the post like this. So you see it will display the information that is available as a fake server in which we have user ID, we have a ID, we have a title, we have a body. So this information I want to fetch. Remember that we have this array, under the array we have different different objects. So I copy this URL, you can take any URL whatever you want, according to the display information from the URL we have to change the application. So here I have a fetch get component, this one, here I will do my coding. So for that uh, what I do, I take one constant, I take URL and here I give the information like this way. So this is my URL that I require to fetch the information. Now uh, this is functional component. I have to use a hook is called use effect for fetching the information. For that I say use effect and under this function I need to import this also in React Native in a React, React library. So I say use effect like this way and in this use effect I need to pass one arrow function like this way and I need to pass one condition so I just save this you see we, th we have two parameter under use effect so under this function we will do the code and here is the condition if I keep it blank that means it will render one time I need only one time right now so I'm not putting any condition here. So under this use effect, I will use the fetch function to fetch the information. So for that, I create a state variable. So I say const and here I say data set data. So that data I'm fetching in an array. So I say use state. So I take use state here and under this I give the array remember and uh, I import this also. I say use state like this way and I need to specify data type of this because I'm using TypeScript so I need data type so I say type I say data type which we are using equal to remember here that we have a user ID then we have ID then title body so user ID number ID number all our text so I have to give here user ID equal to number uh, then I need to give uh, id equal to number then i need to give title is equal to string then i need to give a body string type i save this and this information i need to pass here i say data type of array that we require the information to be fetch save this and do formatting this way now i need a fetch function inside this remember that so everything is okay right now so I need fetch function so I say fetch dot sorry under the fetch I use the URL that URL I pass here then I say uh, then so under the then I will have the result JSON information JSON so I say here result and I say result dot JSON format remember then I will have the then function here I will have a data so I say date 
data and I can give information to all data you see arrow function and then I set this data to this I say all data remember save this format this so you see that right now I just pass the URL this URL it will reach the data this data will come as a result in a JSON format then again I will convert this into the array and array I will pass here then I can do one more thing here I say uh, catch if there is an error so here we can say error and under this error I can display uh, this in a uh, toast I say toast Android and here I pass this data I say error and I say toast Android dot I say long that I want and uh, I need to say that show under the show function I have to pass these parameter so I save this so if there is error then it will display in a toast and if the result is there we have data result in data this one now I can display this so just for example I replace this and I pass data so I say data dot map remember and under this map I am just displaying the information so I say here uh, you can say data I say info one info that is coming here under this and then I say info dot title that I will display only the title one and uh, that would be under the text so I say under this text I want to display the information like this way so uh, this text I can remove now no need of this outer one and I save this I do auto formatting and I need to close this one also save this and uh, it will fetch the data and you see all the information from the server is coming and it need key also I will do everything here don't worry you see we have the title here all the data you see if you see this title information in the starting we have these information the same information we have here also you see this data we have because it's not in English coming in some other language so we have the data and this data we have here like this now we can uh, we can design this data as per our requirement in a flat list so I just re remove all these things now I take flat list and I design this data in a better way so I say flat list you see this is our flat list and uh, this flat list I will do here like this way and I will take this flat list remove uh, import this from the react native so I say flat list like this way save this now I need to pass some information so I say here first of all data so I say data is the data which I am fetching uh, then I need key extractor the key extractor that I require is here I pass the function and under this function I have items and that item dot ID is my key remember and this is my key extractor and it should be unique so I think this ID is unique yeah right now it's unique but it requires a string type I think so that's why it's giving a problem so I can say I can convert it into the string you see now what I need I need a, a render item so under the render item this is the function I another I have a arrow function and under this arrow function I need to assign the information so right now we do not have any data so here I need items so I say items like this all item I have under this I will display so I take first uh, text field so I say text inside uh, first of all I will take a view under this view I will take the text so I say view then I take text so I take first text here and I say item I take item dot ID so this ID I will display then I will display title also 
and I will display body also save this and you will see that we have data like this and we can make some formatting so here I say first of all I have flat list so here I say style equal to styles dot and I say card it is not a card but I am just giving the information like this and uh, uh, individual item I can give uh, formatting so uh, I say style equal to style dot id I will make some style for this also so I copy and I paste this also and I paste this also and I say it is title and I say it is uh, body now I give some style so I take container also so I give container at the top I say style and here I say container like this way now I do some CSS I say container so in this container I say flex is one I say justify content is the center and I say alignment is item is also the center right now but we may change if is required so I do this first thing now I need card so I create one more card and here I say background color and here I say background color to uh, I say light I say sky blue save this so this color is coming sky blue type then I say uh, this color is sky blue is not looking nice to so I say light gray save this yeah we can take this and uh, I take margin I take margin to 2 pixel only we will try to make some card type of formatting it is coming now so I take here uh, border radius border radius and I say border radius is 5 save this you see border radius is 5 and I say the padding inside this is also 10 save this you see we have a padding now what I do I say uh, some text color of this so I say here ID and I say color of this ID is I say white color I think it will work good not working and I say font size font size is 20 yeah size is okay but color is not okay I can give uh, this light gray I change to pink color that will be okay yeah now I give this color to blue color text color yeah it looking okay and uh, I can make it bold also font weight I say bold save this and now I just make copy of this three time four time and here I say uh, three time I think yeah three time so I remove this one extra one and uh, here I say the name of this is title and name of this is body I save this and you will see that uh, some size will increase and yeah color is also increased now uh, text is this and this blue color this id color we can change to red one and i say that uh, text alignment text alignment is center save this yeah it's coming in the center and uh, this one title and this i say uh, text alignment is uh, justify save this same i do for body also save this you see and uh, I can make some gap also so I say in title we need margin margin I take to 5 save this same I do here same I do here margin to 5 save this this way information we have you see so many data we have here it's just a demo video to give you an overview that how you can fetch data it's a long data which we available here the same data how we can fetch in react native with typescript you see so you can customize also this information as per your template of your application if you are making some project so everyone have it some you can say template so i'm just trying to give you an overview of card here we just make made here card and under this i have different different options so you may use here i'm using the flat list here you can use section list also i have given the demo on section list how you can use section list because this information is too long that's why it's looking old 
but uh, you may have the specific or a small information if you make any mobile application then data is limited it's a big one so it looking old so like this way you see we fetch the data from this using get request so here in place of url here we pass here method remember and this method i pass here the get method so by default is also get but you can also specify in this object that which matter which method you want here i specify the get method and if i remove it by default is also get so i am removing here so by default this parameter is the get one so if i specify in next video i will specify here post put and delete then it will do the work as per the method is provided that's all in this video about get request using fetch method and react native with type -esque. see you for more videos also if you like it please do subscribe thank you for watching this video